we've created this short video to support your submission through Moodle Assignment. Please note, for the purpose of this video, we will be looking at a Moodle Assignment Dropbox with the default settings, but these may vary. Moodle Assignment is a submission box which provides a flexible way for you to submit coursework. It allows you to submit a wide variety of file types, including online text. You can submit your work individually or as part of a group, depending on the assignment's requirements. You will always be expected to submit to Moodle Assignment via a link within your module. You will never be asked to submit out with Moodle. You will be able to access the link via the Activities block on the right-hand side of your module, or you'll also find the same link within the Assessment section of your module. Once you click on the link, you will note there are a couple of dates. One is the date on which the Dropbox was opened, and the other is the due date of the assignment. You will also see an Add Submission button. Clicking Add Submission will take you to this window, where you must tick the box to say that you agree with the university's academic integrity regulations. You can either select your file from your computer using the file picker, or you can drag and drop the file from your computer. If you have more than one file to upload, simply repeat this process until all files are uploaded. Finally, click Save Changes. Please note that unlike Turnitin, you will not receive a digital receipt. However, you will see that the submission status shows that it has been submitted. You will also see a timestamp for the submission, and in most cases, you will still be able to edit the submission until the due date. However, this depends on how your module team has set the box up. In some modules, you may be required to upload a link, for example, a link to a resource you have created, such as a Panopto video. To do that, paste the link to the resource here in the online text area before saving changes. For more hints and tips and general Moodle support, please visit the Moodle homepage or my Napier. Thanks for listening.